In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the FPS counter in the NVIDIA app. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the NVIDIA app installed and then we're just going to come over to our start menu, search for NVIDIA and then open up the app like so. Now from the left hand side, you need to click on settings and right at the top, you need to make sure NVIDIA overlay is turned on and enabled like so. Then what you need to do is press the Alt plus the letter Z on your keyboard to open up the overlay. And then from here, you need to scroll down and click on statistics. So here you'll find all of the information about enabling FPS on NVIDIA. So the first thing you want to take note of is this alt plus r shortcut key on your keyboard now what this will do is turn on the fps counter so you can see now if i press alt and the letter r on my keyboard it's going to enable and disable the counter at the top and then if you also come down to statistics view you can see that if we press alt shift and the letter r it's going to cycle through the different layouts for this counter so if i just do that now by pressing alt shift and the letter r you can see that it rotates between all of these three different layouts and you can basically do that inside of your games and that will enable the FPS counter so you can simply launch up whatever game you're trying to play and then you can just press those shortcut keys shift alt and r and it's going to rotate between this FPS counter now one thing to note is if you're getting this FPS and it says NA next to it then in order to fix this what you need to do is right click on your desktop and then come over to show more options and select the Nvidia control panel then you need to select manage 3d settings from the left hand side click on program settings and in order to see the FPS of a game, you first need to make sure you've added the program here. So if I click on this drop down, you'll be able to see a list of all of the games that you currently have added. But if you don't see your game from this list, that will be the reason why there's no FPS counter. So to fix this, you just need to click on the add button like so, select browse, and then you just need to find the executable file for your game. And once you've added it to this list of applications, all you simply need to do is restart the game and it will then show the FPS counter up here. And it's really as simple as that guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.